Hello there everyone, welcome back, this is Prince and in today's Flutter video what we are going to do is we will set up continuous integration and continuous delivery with github actions with our to do app so let's get started okay. what we'll have to do is we'll have to create a yml file first that yml file will define the workflow of the github actions that will be performed whenever we push our branch or a tag to github so let's go ahead go to your root folder and there create a directory this will be a hidden directory so don't forget to put a dot in front of github and under this directory we'll create another directory workspace okay and inside workspace we'll create our main.yml file so sorry not that file it will be a main.yml file okay so here i am going to define the commands that we will be using for deploying our application so first of all on push on push tags so whenever a tag will be pushed this command will run and uh, this will define the this v star is defining the tag name so whenever we will pu uh, push some tag like uh, v1 v2 this yml file will run and it will do further actions name this will be the name of our process what process we are going to run so this will be continuous delivery release apk okay and then we will define the jobs that that we will be needed to perform so build name will be build apk and it will will define a platform to run on so i will use ubuntu latest ubuntu you can also use mac latest that will do the same task and then we will define the steps what are the steps that we need to perform so steps first of all we will check out to our branch and we'll uh, what uh, what we'll do is we'll use a github action called checkout that clones our workspace directory so we'll use a action checkout at the rate v1 so this is version 1 of the checkout actions then we will use another action we'll set up java java is required because uh, we are going to build a apk that runs on android and java is the native language for it for for that so set up java and we'll use version 1 and this will be with java version 12.x and we'll need to enclose it inside quotes okay now we'll use 
another action which is for flutter and we'll use version 1 of it how am i getting these things we can go to github and then we can go to we can we can google see it is the first link so these are the actions that uh, we are going to use then we will use the commands that we are going to run so we will run first command will be flutter pub get so this will update our dependencies then we will run a build build command which is flutter build apk minus t lib slash main underscore prod dot dot and we will use a split per ABI this is the standard format for uploading any APK to Google Play Store so we will be using this then we will give a name to these run actions so this will be name release apk okay. and it will use release uh, github action and again version 1 of that action we will also define flutter version ok we have not defined flutter version ok I have defined the flutter action here so with this we will also need to define which flutter version that we will be using so with flutter version and I will be using the latest stable version which is 1.17.0 okay and here we will be using artifacts artifacts will define the path where our apk will be formed so add slash outputs slash apk slash release slash star dot apk because there are different versions of apk formed due to split per abi command so for lower androids it will create a v7 version and for upper android it will create a v8 version and we will have to use a token also here so this token will be a secret token so we will use a command here uh, which will be secrets dot token so it will search the secrets from the repository and the token will be a variable ok so let's create a token first so go to your repository and inside settings go into go into secrets and here you can create a new secret 
but uh, before creating a new secret what you will have to do is you will have to create a personal access token so for that you should uh, go to your profile and then settings slash tokens mm, wait let me go to settings first slash tokens so let's generate a new token and this will be for youtube letter will give full control of private repositories and then we will generate a new token we'll have to copy this remember to copy this otherwise it will be lost and you won't be able to see it again and then go back to secrets create a new secret give name of your secret this name should be this variable name so let me change this secrets dot youtube underscore letter Okay, and I will keep the same name here first let me paste the token that I have copied and YouTube underscore letter we'll add this secret now what we'll have to do is we'll have to commit all these changes get add get commit minus n Yes, CD get push origin master now let's create a tag and we'll be pushing our code and we'll be able to see our actions here so get tag version 1.2 get push origin version 1.2 so let's see if it is working or not see we have we should go to actions okay it is not working okay well, what we have done wrong is it's not uh, workspace change this uh, folder name to workflows it is not workspace and again push push or commit commit is required because will because uh, tag will search for the latest commit and associate itself with the with it no changes get push origin master get tag version 1.3 and get push origin version 1.3 Let's see the releases here. Version 1.3 we have done now. Okay, let's go to this. If you will go to the actions, see that uh, it is now building the changes, and uh, from here we can see the actions that are being performed go to build apk you can see setup job is done checkout is done setup java is done and now it is setting a flutter and it will use flutter version that we have defined here so it will be 1.17.0 make sure this is 
equal to the flutter version on your local machine otherwise the build will fail this will take some time because it is installing flutter and then it will install the dependencies see flutter has been initialized so it is saying a new version of flutter is available we will change it later on now it is running the build command that we have specified and after that it will create the artifacts artifacts are basically the assets that uh, that are required or that will be provided as an output initially the build was failing because we had named the folder as workspaces instead of work workflows So this is the whole process of uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery. What it means is uh, that suppose you are working in a team and there are uh, 10 to 15 to 20 developers. Okay. So if uh, one person releases a build, everyone should be able to test it because everyone will have the access to the repo and everyone will directly download the APK from here rather than asking the person to individually send it to others and you don't have to run the this command each and every time it will automatically build the apk I will put this URL also inside the description link. Okay, so the APKs have been created and now it will complete this task. Okay, see, job has been done, and now you can go and download the APK from here. Go to the releases, latest release and here are the APKs. This V8 APK is for the latest Android versions, Android 9, 10 and this is for lower Android versions 6, 7. The, remember this V8 version will not run on lower Androids. So this is it. This is how continuous integration and continuous delivery is used with Flutter and GitHub Actions. There are many other options such as Code Magic. Code magic is better for iOS releases. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.